guys, so Everly and myself are here to tell you about our very exciting news. Finally, it's out, is our heirloom starter kit. I really ah! wants a nap. So, I don't know how I'm gonna get this video done. I have some exciting news that our heirloom starter kit is finally ready. Oh my goodness. So, the hold up of this whole thing was the cover of the pattern that I designed for the kit. So let me back up. About three years ago, I got the idea for an heirloom starter kit. I thought it, and this was both, way before I was doing anything business-wise, I just got the idea and I thought it was, you know, something that with people who want to get into this world, it can be so overwhelming. I remember being really overwhelmed by it and I had been sewing for myself for a number of years and still when I entered the world of heirloom sewing, it was like, well, all the materials are different, all the techniques are different. Where do I start? What do I do? How do I join do this and that? And it just became very overwhelming. And I am largely self-taught, so I would just order a ton of crap and figure it out and, you know, okay, that didn't work out. Well, that I like and, you know, just make a list and start learning and whatever. Well, this kit, it, it allowed you to bypass all of that, okay? So, you will get a kit It'll arrive to your door via UPS or FedEx. Well, I ship a lot of my stuff USPS, and I absolutely love them. Of the thousands and thousands of, of things that I've shipped, only a handful have gone awry. But with big packages, you know, UPS or FedEx is just better. So that's how it's going to be shipped. It's going to arrive to you, just one neat little package and four gowns. These four gowns are going to walk you from like never sewing a baby gown to, oh my gosh, I've sewn a baby gown with lace shaping on it and everything in between, okay? So the first gown is going to be very light on construction, just kind of dipping your toe into the water, um, getting your, you know, just getting your feet wet, getting comfortable with sewing a garment and the whole seam allowance thing, then cutting one out, and we do a little bit of embellishment as far as uh, a pin, some series of pin tucks onto that one. I do give in the kit a wing needle as well as two spools of thread if you want to go that route. I give the regular needles if you want to go that route. Seriously, the kit has everything you need besides the sewing machine, your scissors, and an iron. Okay, the, sun, the kit has everything else. All the thread, the snaps, the needles, all the nitty gritty, okay? So, um, so the first gown starts there, and so the second gown gets into construction, um, as well as some hand embroidery work. You do get flush in your kit for this, and um, it just talks about, you know, everything from gathering a skirt up to sleeves to elastic casings, hems, all of that sort of stuff. Um, then the third gown, we get into smocking, and we're going to smock with a ball of pearl cotton, which is, uh, uh, of course, I included in the kit. And um, smocking is just a big topic in this thing. Um, so, of course, we had to cover it, and the gown, it's a little bit of smocking, so if you, even if you don't have a smocking pleater, you can smock it by hand, and I show smocking it by hand in the, um, in the video. So, all these videos are going to be out in the next couple of days. Of course, you can watch them before you buy the kit. I want to be as transparent. I always do, right? I always want to be as transparent as I can with all of this stuff. I really don't, for the vast majority of things, I don't believe in putting stuff behind a paywall. I just, like... There it is, and I'm confident that, that it's a good value, so here you go. Um, so then we get into the fourth gown, which the fourth gown is lace shaping. And like I said, I designed the pattern for this kit in mind to take you from, you know, an absolute beginner, never done anything, all the way up to smock in and lace shaping and hand embroidery and all the rest of it. So at the end of the kit, my goal for it, how I've set it up, is that you will be able to take the knowledge that you've gotten in this kit and apply it to like 95% of the heirloom classic patterns out there, um, even a bubble, because we talk about, even though we don't do a bubble, we talk about an elastic casing on a wrist in this kit, and it's the same sort of concept as a bubble. You just put the elastic casing around the leg line. So um, it's really designed to take it, give you a good foundation, and allow you to sew really a lot of other things that are in the heirloom classic world. So it also comes with a booklet. The booklet has all the nitty gritty. Okay, it's, it's written on like the top level of you're a beginner. You don't want to be overwhelmed. You just want to know what you need to know to get going and have a good experience, right? And you can get down into the details as you go along. But when you're first starting out, you don't want every single detail under the sun because you get overwhelmed by it. That's how it's written. It also includes um, my ratio. I have a fabric pleating ratio where I've like 
pleated a ton of different fabrics to show you what the ratio, um, the pleating ratio is on those fabrics. It has that included into it, has um, other embroidery motifs included into it. There's just a ton of information on, about needles and threads and fabrics and laces and all sorts of stuff. It is already printed and bound and it arrives in the kit as well. So. Um, now, if you don't want the heirloom starter kit, yeah, you can buy the pattern on its own, but like I said, I designed this pattern for the heirloom starter kit. It's all the basics. You Likely, if you've been in this world, likely you have a pattern that has these staple baby gowns already, so there's really no, no, I didn't reinvent the wheel of this pattern, you know. There's really no need to buy it if you already have these staples in your library and you're happy with the, the version that you have. That being said, I did include an, uh, a number of embroidery motifs that I'm going to be doing so alongs, okay? And all of these videos, I thought, like I said, I thought they were going to be out the last um, two months, kind of fill in the gap of new newly postpartum for me not making videos, but such is life. So, uh, so this so long is something um, for 2021. You can buy a, fabri a fiber kit. The fiber kit has flosh, it has um, silk floss in it, it has the wool, the delicate wool fiber that I have, and I absolutely love this thing. I use the delicate wool embroidery thread on a super fine flannel um, smocked version, and I loved it. I just loved the two together. I think they pair so nicely together. And then it also, the fiber kit has, also has two sizes of cotton embroidery in the color blanc, white. Um, and so we're doing a sew along with that. So if you want to join the sew along, you're welcome to get the fiber kit. If you have your own your own patterns, go ahead and use those. Um, I'll try to get the embroidery motifs as a digital like PDF download so you can apply them to your own patterns. Or you can buy the pattern if you want to go that route as well. The, all the embroidery is printed on the pattern that I could. And if it's not on the pattern, then it's on like actual paper so that you can save it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so that's what I thought was going to be coming out the last two months. I wanted to get it right and not rush it. That's always my um, philosophy. So even though the cover took way longer than I thought it was going to, I think it's really pretty and the other choices were definitely not right. So I hope this is helpful, especially the heirloom starter kit. I'm very excited for that for folks that are trying to get into this world and feeling overwhelmed. Go check that out. It's nice seeing y'all again on the YouTubes and um... Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you on the next one.